history tells us the Mets have the best opening day record in baseball history, but the Yankees are making a serious push to catch them. Yes, Houston, it's three in a row now and six of seven after coming back at Houston from 4 nothing down to start the third inning for a 5-4 to four win. Juan Soto drove in their first run of 2024 with an RBI single in the top of the fifth and has heard on the fans showed off his arm in the bottom of the ninth. The pitch is swung on and live. There's a base hit to right field. Rounding third and ball. Here comes the ball home. He's going to be out and home. Oh, what a throw by Soto. We talked about the game-saving play on yet. When I go to the ball, I know where he wears. And I just, I just try to make sure I throw the perfect throw to the play and let Trevi do what he can do. For the catch, Rose Trevino, who applied the tag before Clay Holmes nailed down the save for Jonathan Luizaga. Marker Day, 10-10 wins sports on 92.3 FM. Now Bloomberg Money Watch might be noticing more rooftop solar panels on the block. Because the photovoltaic industry will be adding a lot of new capacity right now. There were 444 gigawatts of solar panels installed last year, which is a lot. It's 76 percent more than the year before. The Bloomberg analyst Jenny Chu says there is manufacturing capacity to make even more. And the other good news for consumers: the price of buying the solar module is at a record low. There is a massive oversupply of solar panels, despite the fact that demand for them is growing very fast. It is super cheap. It seems a lot of deals out there right now being offered by solar companies, but also tough times for those who make the solar panels. It's really quite bad for manufacturers, which are receiving these low, low prices, but it's quite exciting for investors and developers. Another thing to watch for, developers are running out of places to put commercial solar panel operations, so watch for more to pop up in parking lots, floating on bodies of water, and even on top of decommissioned landfills. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Janice Pellegrini for 10 10 minutes on 923 FM. Con Edison is committed to providing 100% renewable energy to all New Yorkers. That means more solar, wind, and energy efficiency programs, and a much smaller carbon footprint, like net zero by 2040 small. Together, we're building the kind of clean energy future everyone can feel, breathe, enjoy, and pass on to the next generation. Presbyterian gives you the health care choices you want, like over 450 locations in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and Westchester. Virtual care that lets you connect with us digitally. World-class doctors from Columbia and Royal Cornell Medicine and Health Matters, an online source for the latest health and wellness topics and tips. Experience extraordinary health care when and where you need it. Stay amazing. New York Presbyterian. District of the Club. 10 10 wins and the labor of local 731 are proud to honor our city workers who are city heroes. Marilyn Watkins was a 911 dispatcher before there was even a 911 emergency system. She started answering the call for help on a switchboard in Patterson, New Jersey. And 41 years.
something in the storage and I go to work. Finally, 
Checking sports, Yanks with a thrilling comeback win in Houston in their opener. Rangers and Islanders both win. Mets opening day. AccuWeather, mix of clouds and sun, high around 57 degrees today. Wind time 841. Let's get you back out to the roads. Check your morning commute. Here's Karen Stewart. Oh dear, why is this Deegan accident still there? It's been there since 735, by the way. Northbound Deegan at 233rd Street is the accident I'm talking about. The right and center lanes are blocked. We are delayed on the northbound side. Turn back to the Cross Bronx Expressway. It also looks like we may have an accident here on the New England Thruway, right by the Hutchinson River Parkway. Uh, we've got delays that go up the New England Thruway to about Bartow Avenue right now. Uh, we look good on the Bruckner. You heard that correctly. We look good on the Bruckner. And if you're traveling in Brooklyn on the inbound Gowanus speed QE eastbound combination, one of our heavier spots here, from 39th Street up into the Brooklyn Bridge and westbound from Flushing Avenue out into Atlantic Avenue. We've got delays there as well. Now, as we check what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels, the Holland is yeah. made... Be back. We're gonna go take and care of some business. Put something in the storage.
Windy, windy. Yeah. Windy, windy, windy. Yes. Oh shit, who's going? The solar eclipse through a carbon. It really was the furthest thing from my mind. Never even entered into my brain. And, well, now I gotta try it. Guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly's Aeroscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions to the problem. Can't get out of the house. Can't get out of the house. לא, אני... מרים תהיה איתה, אני הולך לעבודה, מה אני אעשה? מרים תהיה. כל טוב לטבעות.
Hey, good morning. Where you got the coffee cup? You have the coffee cup? This is good in Amazon? Can I take a picture? Can I take a picture? I want to show uh, the shop. This is good because the other kind I got is was no good. It's come with the bike, it's good for the cop. KEMI. Thank you. Two sizes, get the bigger one. KEMI. There's one with Velcro, there's one with a clamp. I, I have the bigger, I have both the smaller one and the bigger one with a Velcro. Thank you. It's a nice e bike. Always like. The landlord wants me to get rid of it. It's yeah, electric. I know, but put it in the... We're going to bite it. Yeah, it's fine, thank you. Then we're going to get rid of Judith, I'm over here now. How are you doing, Judith?
Simpson with on 92.3 FM. The suspected gunman in the death of Jonathan Diller now formally charged with murder of a police officer, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon, Queens DA Melinda Cass. Their family to know today as they mourn the death of their husband, their father, and their son. That the person who did this will be held accountable in Queens County. 34-year-old Guy Rivera is at Jamaica Hospital. He was ordered held without bail. The other man arrested, 41-year-old Lindy Jones, is due back in court today. Thousands more expected at the Massapequa Funeral Home, where the wake continues today. Looking at a blue ribbon on the door of a bank here near the funeral home. The ribbons over South Massapequa Park to honor NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Yesterday, hundreds of men and women in blue, along with friends and family of the 31-year-old, came to pay their respects. His neighbor feels for Diller's widow and young son. It's a nightmare. I just feel, I feel for them so much. My heart is broken. Today, Governor Hochul will pay her condolences. Yeah, hi, Judith. Yeah, Judith, how you doing? I'm going to go and open up those codes for you so you can get out. No, he's there. Yeah, the guy going to do The guy going to do that. Okay. There's somebody there. You need... Yeah, yeah he's going to do it. Uh, I don't know why they put that cone on that. But somebody Let's take West 46th Street, Manhattan. Arrival time on this route is similar to 12th Avenue, West 50th Street, West 46th Street, Manhattan. In 300 feet, use the right lane to turn right on 12th Avenue. putting it on on that day I don't even I don't know, even know what happened
have everyone schedule their follow-up on that Monday and ask her to come to full day. So she does full day Monday, full day Tuesday, full day Wednesday, half a day Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Six. Forty-six. This doesn't go to me.
Yes. כן, יש מצב לבטל את המודעה ולקבל זיכוי, החזר? יש מצב לבטל את המודעה ולקבל זיכוי, קרדיט, החזר? של הנדל"ן. טוב, חשבתי שאת יד שנייה, בסדר. כן, אני לא, לא רוצה להשתמש יותר בזה כנראה. אוקיי, okay, כי אני רואה שאתם מוציאים שיחות לישראל גם. בסדר, לא, בסדר, עכשיו אני לא צריך, אני אהיה איתך בקשר. אוקיי, כל תודה. שבת שלום. שבת
Ventura is charged with murder of a police officer, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. And we are uh, thankful that the judge saw fit to remand him into custody for that. Mayor Adams was among those to pay their respects at the Massapequa funeral home. Our hearts go out to the family members of our fallen officer. The waitress today received a call from the president a few moments ago. I was sending his condolences, and I would relay those condolences to the family. But we are truly impacted by the loss. We are going to continue to provide the safety to the city that it deserves. Former President Donald Trump was invited to attend. He spoke to reporters outside. What happens is such a sad, sad event. It's Drop off, Judith. Thing. It's happening all too often, and we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't. 21 times arrested. Governor Hochul has ordered flags flown at Half Staff and is expected to attend the wake today. The funeral is tomorrow, 10.30, at St. Rosa Lima Church in Massapequa Park. Uh, here is good. Okay, good luck. Happy Friday. Uh, good Friday. Happy Easter. Take care. Delivery. Don't be trouble, are you in trouble? Double trouble. Where's my sandwich? Alexa, where's my sandwich? Got my sandwich? Where's my sandwich, Alexa? Where's my breakfast?
go. <coughs> Thank you. Good Friday, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you Don't buy everything, leave me some, okay? I'll give you something. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Take care. Anybody in the building? Representative? Erica. I'm over here now. I'm next to Morton Williams. Okay. Okay. No, I'm on fine. Park. I'm on Park Where? Avenue. Morton Williams, in the corner. Yes. What are you on Park? Yeah, I'm on Park. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
to win really close games. So, you know, we got to go with the alternative. And Connecticut, the only favorite to win last night, and Dylan only beat Iowa State. Now it's Los Angeles. Alabama has knocked off the one seed. Tide set up a date tomorrow with Clemson, Clemson, Arizona. Mark today, 10 10 win sports on 92 3 FM. Factor Business is made to work with your small business, made to do it all ultra-reliable internet, phone, and mobile services, and made to work with a small business budget. Get you start to think about this. Like, if we get sick, we're at higher risk. But we're absolutely not going to stop living our lives. But you know what helps us do that? Getting our food shot. A physical
attended yesterday. A sea of blue lined up outside the Massapequa Park funeral home yesterday to pay their respects to NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Neighbors, <coughs> friends, and those who never met the 31-year-old like this man from Iceland who says he came to say goodbye to a hero. This is just a tragedy. It happens too often, I feel, for this family. we got to do something about the violence. Former President Trump and Mayor Adams came here yesterday. Governor Hochul will be here today. Still his neighbor, mourns the loss and feels for the officer's widow and young son. One minute you're crying and next minute you're angry. You know, that's how I'm feeling. And support has been coming in from across the area. Tunnels to towers promised to pay off the dealer's mortgage and a GoFundMe has raised nearly $700,000. Sophia Hall, 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM in Massapequa Park, Long Island. Sad news out of Hollywood. Academy Award winning actor Louis Gossett Jr. has died. His nephew told the Associated Press he died last night in Santa Monica, California. No cause of death was given. Gossett started acting while he was still in high school in Brooklyn. He made his Broadway debut at the age of 16 in the show Take a Giant Step. He was an Emmy winner for his role in the TV miniseries Bruce. He won his Academy Award for his supporting role in An Officer and a Gentleman. Louis Gossett Jr. was 87 years old. Five people were injured.
This is Scott Trout with Cordell and Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we've represented men in divorce, confirming the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationship. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your family. Set up a consultation and take the first step. 866-DADS-LAW. 701 East Cape Drive, Suite 310, North Moral, New Jersey, 08054. Diana Madonna, licensed in New York and New Jersey. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia on CordellCordell.com. Uh, are you or a loved one a Bronx resident? Neighborhood Shop has some exciting news for you. Neighborhood Shop's case management program, funded by the New York City Department for the Aging, is here to make a difference in the lives of our homebound older adults. We're focused on planning, arranging, and coordinating in-home services to help maximize your functional independence in the Bronx. Our services cover everything from home delivered meals to home care and supportive services like monitoring, advocacy, benefits, and entitlement counseling. If you're a homebound senior living in the Bronx, call Neighborhood Shop at 718-328-3536. 718-328-3536. Neighborhood Shop is your connection to a happier, healthier, and more independent life. If you are an older adult or may know someone who is 60 years or older with physical health impairments that hinder you from managing your daily activities inside or outside of the home, call us at 718-328-3536. That's 718-328-3536.
call me, 718-333-0812. I am Mikhail Yadrov, personal injury attorney. I deliver honesty while evaluating your personal injury case. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I deliver clear communication which equals high rewards. Take action. Call me, 718-333-0812. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Yeah! Pay nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment requirement by any clients only on participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as fifteen dollars a month for your first year. Plus, the same exact nationwide coverage at the leading carriers for fifteen dollars a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call one eight 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 Freedom or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code Radio fifteen. See ConsumerCellular.com slash first year fifteen for promotional details. Wednesday time, 1016, Oppenheimer director Christopher Nolan and his wife, Oppenheimer producer Emma Thomas, will be receiving a British knighthood and damehood. Typically, the news of who will, be, who will be receiving the honor of knighthood and damehood is announced at the beginning of the year and on King Charles' birthday, since he's the one who does the knighting. But the honor is sometimes awarded after special achievement, which could explain why Nolan and Thomas are getting it just a few weeks after winning their Oscar. However, it's difficult to know when they will actually receive their honor, with King Charles currently taking a break from royal duties as he receives cancer treatment. Spice girl Mel B, a.k.a. Scary Spice, has updated her autobiography, Brutally Honest, with three new chapters that detail the aftermath of her escape from an allegedly abusive 10-year relationship. She said she wanted to show how much rebuilding needs to be done after you've gone through that experience. So full of shame, guilt. You have to piece yourself back together. You have to learn to trust yourself. You've got a lot of like relationships that you need to recover so it's not easy and i want to be as honest as possible because you know a lot of women don't just going back melby says she'll never be fully healed from the abusive relationship but says she's now on the right path rapper travis scott is trying to remove himself from several lawsuits related to the deadly crowd surge at a festival in texas I do so too, Bob, baby. Travis Scott filed a motion this week in Houston to be dismissed from all Astroworld lawsuits. More than 2,500 people have sued since 2021, claiming Scott, Live Nation, and other organizers were negligent in how they planned the music festival, which led to the deaths of 10 people. But the rapper argues safety was not his responsibility. Drake and Apple have filed similar motions. Drake performed alongside Scott at the event. Apple live-streamed it. The first trial is expected to start in May. As correspondent Monica Rick, the U.S. military has finished draining millions of gallons of fuel from a tank facility that leaked fuel into Pearl Harbor's drinking water. Some 6,000 people were poisoned in the Red Hill bulk fuel storage leak in Honolulu. Joint Task Force Red Hill began defueling the tanks in October. Now the task force has handed over responsibility for the tanks to Navy Closure Task Force Red Hill, six months earlier than planned. Pentagon spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder. I think it's a real testament to the effectiveness of Joint Task Force Red Hill uh, and their commitment and dedication to taking this task uh, very seriously. Navy Closure Task Force Red Hill will permanently decommission the tanks, perform environmental cleanup, and restore the aquifer. That's correspondent Jennifer Kaiser. Beyonce is updating Taylor Swift's friendship bracelet. Hello, Hello Beyonce. Even before Beyonce's new country album debuted today, the sash she wears on the cover of Cowboy <laughs> Carter inspired a new fashion frenzy. Fans have been raiding fabric stores, getting out their sewing machines, and whipping up polyester red, white, and blue banners and adorning themselves like the Queen Bee. Plastered across the front, the words Beehive and Act to Beyonce. Her followers have already triggered a run on mirror-coated cowboy hats and other country guards. 
Correspondent Deborah Rodriguez. A strange Easter tradition will continue tomorrow in a Detroit suburb. Marshmallows will be raining from the sky outside of Detroit. Thousands will be dropped by a helicopter for kids below to chase after and collect. The kids are not supposed to eat them, but instead exchange them for prizes. This is something that kids in Michigan have enjoyed for years. Just get as much stuff as you can and just bring your inner kid out. That's correspondent Luke Sloan reporting. Still listening to 10 Winds on the AM band? Give us a try right now on Crystal Clear 92.3 FM. All news, all the time. Is 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good morning, 43 degrees, sunny skies in Manhattan at 1020. I'm Linda Lopez, and here's what's happening. Mets opening day at City Field today, and we've learned that the Mets will be honoring fallen police officer Jonathan Miller at their opening today. Police are investigating a string of carjacking attempts at rest stops on I-95 in Connecticut. The wait continues today for Officer Jonathan Miller in Long Island. Governor Hochul is expected to attend. A new poll shows that Americans are split when it comes to immigration. And today is the day Beyonce's new country album is finally out. 10 winds, AccuWeather. We've got sunny skies for the rest of today, but it will be blustery, windy, a little chilly. We get to a high around 55 this afternoon in the city. Winds news time, 1021. Let's get traffic and transit on the ones and over to Karen Stewart. Southbound on the New Jersey Turnpike truck lines. We are so close at Interchange 10 in Edison. We've got an overturned tractor trailer. All lanes, again, they are blocked there. Well, we'll get into that later. Uh, Harvard is in trouble. We'll get to that coming up. Check out the webpage. We've got a lot of good video up there. In fact, if you want to see the protesters, here's the video from Inside Radio City Music Hall. Watch these. And these are disgusting hecklers. These are anti-Semitic, anti-Israel. Disgusting. But watch the video. They, I mean, they got their money's worth. Finally, they're just screaming and yelling. They're getting, you can see them getting carried out by security. Hey, also, if you have any credit cards yet, don't. Watch this. is Warren Buffett. This is a great, great lesson here. Why you never have credit card check. Take a look at it. It's all up on the web page. Go to 710WOR.com slash mark. 710WOR.com slash mark. Clay Travis and Buck Sexton. They run someone who's good on immigration, hammers Trump and abortion. They win the suburb. We got a problem. We're nine months out, and I think that's consequential. I think we have to all talk about it. Clay Travis and Buck Sexton. Weekdays noon to three on 710 WOR. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox. Starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. West is the proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who get them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. The heart of rock and roll is beating on Broadway in a new musical comedy jam packed with Huey Lewis mega hit. It's a love letter to the 80s, an era of great music, big dreams, and a lot of heart. Get tickets now for the heart of rock and roll on Broadway. Previews begin March 29th. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the drawback. Look at with this. With drops, you earn points for shopping with one of those points the gift card. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 to sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Why should everyone else have all the fun? Go to 710WOR.com slash mark this afternoon and hear every minute of the show. 710WOR.com slash mark. Attention, dealer owners and managers. The Internet Sales Twenty Group is coming to Baltimore. Learn from Damian Mills how he went from salesperson to owning nearly 30 rooftops. The Internet Sales Twenty Group. That's on Go to Internet Sales Twenty Group.
Group.com. That's Internet Sales 20 Group.com. Imagine if your favorite casino came with an undo button. That's exactly what you get with FanDuel Casinos Play It Again. Get up to $1,000 back if you're down after your first day. Play your favorite table games and hundreds of slots for real cash and see for yourself why FanDuel Casino is the number one rated online casino app. Explore daily and weekly promotions. Play with live dealers. And if you ever have a question, our best in class customer support team is here to help 24 seconds. Sign up for FanDuel.com slash IRJ today.
like in The Godfather when the guy blows himself up and uh, Michael says uh, to uh, Hyman Roth, he goes, it shows that they're willing to die for their cause. And these people, are, they're, they're going to pay that kind of money to go into a place like that just to heckle the guy. And yeah, I know. Yeah, listen, the Democrats have huge problems. The crime problem, every I mean, this anti-Semitism is frightening, not just Jews, but Gentiles don't like seeing this. They do not like seeing this out of control bigotry and they don't like seeing this anti-Israel stuff because it's really not just anti-Israel, it's anti-democracy. You know, all of those, uh, those Hamas loving uh, protests, I mean, they'd love to wipe out Israel. They'd love to wipe out America. Uh, Two-state solution, we tried it. <laughs> Look how it turns out. A uh, two-state solution, okay, but the dumbest place you could put a Palestinian state is in Israel. That makes no sense. Let's go to Aaron in uh, Indianapolis. Aaron, how you doing? Good morning, Mark. I want to talk about these uh, pro Hamas protesters in New York for that fundraiser. I thought it was rather ironic that their favorite Hamas brother in chief, Barack Hussein Obama, was among those they were protesting. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the problem. The Democrats have really got a problem. Now, you, yeah, okay, you keep saying go back to 1968. Study that election. It looked like the Democrat Humphrey was on track to win. But it was this kind of stuff, crime, violence in the streets, was going on and on through the spring and into the summer of 1968. Hoo-ha, 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 hoo-ha. All of a sudden became the law and order campaign. And then the Democratic convention took place. It was in Chicago. Streets were filled with protests, ugly, violent protesting, and the nation was horrified. And that, after watching that Democratic convention in Chicago, that's when they really turned to Nixon because they thought he was the law and order guy. Guess where the Democratic convention is this year? Chicago. So history could really repeat itself this year. Let's go to uh, Arturo in Portchester. Arturo, how are you doing? Uh, hey, Mark, uh, it, they are the, um, the death of the, the, the cop, the, the death of the, uh, of the uh, uh, police officer who died on January 6th. And mm -hmm. he was by Len Furman. Can you imagine that? Well, oh, you can't get mad at these people. They, they just don't know. They watch uh, MSNBC, they read the New York Times, they don't know. They think Trump overvalued his department. They're horrified. They can't believe it. But if they just say, hey, this Hunter Biden a million dollars of things, well, that's a good thing, are you? They, they don't think that's overvalued anything. Let's go to Vincent in Brooklyn. Vincent, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, good, Mark. The first caller was right. The optics on this uh, whole thing of, uh, of uh, Donald Trump going to the funeral and Joe Biden basically partying. Everybody was saying the uh, flashback, the optics that are terrible on this. Once again, Mayor Adams with his new plan to be decked guns in the subway. This is a way to the dollar shop because there are guns being made that are totally made of polymers that uh, you're not going to detect them. And the second thing is, who uh, came up to him with this scheme for these machines? Because uh, i like to know who is the bad man. How much money did he or she get under the table to introduce this numbskull idea of putting these useless machines in the no, 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 they're not useless. They cost millions and millions of dollars. This is probably a $500 million contract you get to That's what I'm saying. How much is that? Mark, what was his cut? Or the, the person who came to him and said, hey, this company wants to, they have these machines. With this panic that we have now in the city, we can easily get this done on the emergency power. Tell me that song. How much money did they get? Well, it's you know, it's not always the case. He takes Chuck Schumer. This is all Chuck Schumer does all day and night. He's going to favors. But I don't think he's ever put a... Tell me, that's so much. But what he does this for is now all these companies donate to the campaign. So he needs to raise 50 million, 100 million. It takes two seconds. He's going to be dead. Gave the contract to it. And that's how you can always get to the Great call. Tell me, that's so much. There are some politicians who have do some good, and there are some that are just there to stay there, and to stay there, they need access donations, and to get that, you hand out contracts, and some of these guys, you can, these mayors and governors, and uh, a lot of them, gotta watch how they work, they run into a billionaire, hey, you have my phone number, don't you? No. Let me give you my cell number. Now, the guy knows what that means. This is all so because you can call him on that cell phone anytime you need anything, but the next day, one of his guys will call you and say, 
W-O-R. You get a 60 night money back guarantee. Tap price. That means you get a queen size pillow, $39.98. King size is $44.98. So take advantage of this tap price deal. Go to mypillow.com. Mypillow.com. And to get the discount, use the code W-O-R. Saturday nights are sexy and a lot more fun as Michael, actress, mentor, and super mom Zen Sands takes you on a wild ride covering the latest in film, fashion, pop culture, cryptocurrency, cannabis, and health from the millennial mom's perspective. Don't miss this week's A Moment of Zen show in the Once Upon a Coconut Hydration with Heart segment. Max Siegelman, founder of Siegelman Stable, discusses the inspiration behind the brand and leveraging social media for brand awareness. His CO2 Let's Go and Deep segment. Dr. Tess Mauricio, founder of M Beauty Clinic and celebrity dermatologist discusses carboxytherapy, the importance of pre-treating the skin, and how to achieve the facelift look non-invasively. In your home TV's Metropolitan Lifestyle segment, global gallery artist and photographer Marcus Klinko discusses photography in the digital era and the power of an incredible image. In the Wellness Ways Discover Your Potential Express segment, host Anna DeVere discusses the well-deserved importance of taking a mental break. Tune in this Saturday, March 30th at 9 p.m. for a moment of zen, right here on 710 WOR, or listen online at 710 WOR. A moment of zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can rip CO2 Lift to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless, at-home carboxytherapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improved pigmentation, sagging skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2Lift.com. Always in fashion, starring Mark and Jesse Weber, is all the news in fashion, lifestyle, culture, and politics from two professionals who want to share their life experience with you. Catch Always in Fashion, Saturdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. on WOR and anytime on the iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio Broadway puts you front row center. Broadway's greatest hit, and we get up close with Broadway's biggest stars. Hello, this is Jim Rice. You can pick this one up. This is Alan Menken. iHeartRadio Broadway.
did I tell you about Paul Miller? You can use the fast lane to buy online and have it delivered. Visit paulmiller.com and experience the Paul Miller difference. Mark Simone. You can't deny it. He is Mr. New York. On 710 WOR. Well, the best legal analyst of all, Greg Jarrett. He's got a really good website. You can check everything. There's always, always great stories. TheGregJarrett.com. TheGregJarrett.com. And you go there, you get a podcast, a newsletter, a great book, a trial of the century, or the new book about con- the Constitution, the great American Constitution. With us now, Greg Jarrett, how you doing? Hey, Mark, I'm great. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm good. Uh, Donald Trump, you're a legal expert. You've covered the biggest trust. Has there ever been any human being in history going through four major trials at the same time? No, there hasn't. Um, and, you know, I hope it never happens again because I, I view it as, um, you know, politically motivated cases, the weaponization of, of statutes. And, uh, you know, this is an effort to interfere in the upcoming election. I think every single one of these cases is uh, an embarrassing embellishment of, of the law.
president was in town yesterday. I hope I hope they left. Yeah, all of them. Uh, they come here to raise money for an election. Obama, Biden, Clinton. Estimated time and traffic, 11 minutes. We went to Radio City to watch the chicks dancing. You know, the racket dancing. Even Trump was in you know, Long Island. Where were you from? Florida? Yeah. You like New York? How did you guess that? I don't know. I can say everybody from Florida. <laughs> yeah, I like New York. I love Miami. Miami is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm not from Miami. I'm from Tampa. But I still like it. So stay here, don't go back. Yeah, I'm not going to go back. I got a job here, so that's why I stay. You got to adjust to the noise? Are you sleeping okay? Or, or the city yeah. noise still uh, bad? Okay, but I don't sleep enough. <laughs> it seems a lot of people probably sleeping. Yeah. There's a good uh, sleeping pill on Amazon. Yeah, last yeah. night I slept at like 4 a.m. Maybe you should get some. The sleeping pill, you take them and knock you out. What, you in the financial field? Yeah, I work in a bank, but it's just, I do like technical. Technical? So when I get my first million, you manage my millions? <laughs> Eventually, they will get trash, everything will be digital. Because this, this is what they say, you know. It's scary, like if, if it, they, you owe something, if they don't like you, they just click on a button and your card is off. I mean, you can do it now anyway, but, yeah. but if it's the only chance you can use, but you... You screw, you know. It will take a long time though to get rid of it. Cash. Say cash is king. But then is it right? I'm hardly use cash. So only everything is auto auto pay and card. Mm -hmm. I only try to use cash when I feel a like gas gasolina because the cash is cheaper. Oh yeah. So I'll take with me some cash just card is like uh, 10 cents a gallon more, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I always try to pay cash. Some places debit is also like cash. Yeah. Well, so what you do, like technically, you fix the PC or what? No, no, I don't do like IT stuff. It's more like making dashboards and like working with data. Data entry? Sort of. It's like data cleansing. I take the data and make reports out of it. Oh. I'm with TD Bank. I'm with Wales. Which bank you would? Uh... It's SMBC. So it's not like one of the banks, like personal bank. I think it's just I'm, I'm new there, so I just started. SMBC. Is that related to Santander? Or no? no, it's from Japan. Ohio Gomaiza. Huh. You say Ohio Gomaiza. That's hello in Japanese. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Japanese people in the office too. Yeah, I can they imagine. They work really late. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's Japanese culture. Yeah. Like they work a lot. But you do like 9 to 5? Yeah. yeah, usually I work till like 6 or 7 though. You maybe can work from home too. I work from home um, every day except one day a week I have to go in office. Oh, I see. See, that's the one day a week is so annoying. <laughs> Something from home. She said so hard with the baby, you know, 
challenges. The kids always uh, interfere. She try like call center, mm -hmm. and then the baby always my kid. Baby, I want strawberry. Mommy, I want strawberry. Mommy, I want uh, <laughs> smoothie. <man. laughs> oh, <yeah>. Always the background. <laughs> the interfering with. The, she used to do call center for, uh, you know, Kmart, Walmart, you know. It's funny, people call, one guy called, he said, he buy a new TV, but the TV is black and white. <laughs> so he wanted to return the TV because he thought he bought the um, color. So she's about to do process of, to return, but I told her, wait, uh, his kids was playing with the TV, so they disabled the, you know, you in a setting, you do all, they push yeah. down, so. So I try and go to the setting, click default, and, and then everything broke, brought back to the normal, you know? So he got the color, you know? <laughs> I tell you, see, you just, you don't have to return the TV. It's just That's something. Funny. Another guy, he said he bought two mattresses, and when he got home, he saw only one. So this stupid guy, he didn't put it nicely on the roof or no way. <laughs> one of the mattresses fly on the highway. And uh, when he got home, it's only one because. Oh no! He, he, so I, I told her that's not came out fault. It's not Walmart fault. He's mm -hmm. he lost one on the highway. Oh my! <laughs> so how did he find out that he lost one on the highway? When he got home, you know, he didn't even know. He didn't tie it to it. You see, mattress with the wind is so strong. It's yeah. you need to uh, really do a good tightening, and that's so dangerous because. Mattress fell off the car, an older truck can step on it and yeah, can have a big, so big accident. Did you hear about the bridge? Yeah, that's, that's so fishy because I just kept an island. I want to know his name if he has a fishy name, you know, because if a boat lost uh, power, they have two, three anchor. You immediately drop the anchor mm -hmm. to the water and the anchor hold the boat. He's supposed to go under the bridge, but because he lost power, so he couldn't do steering, he said, you know. Right, right. So he went straight to the thing. Yeah, engine failure. So, uh... He, I think what they said was, like, when he dropped the anchor, like, the anchor came down and then he Usually the the other boat like uh, they they escort them you know the coast guard boat usually they escort those boats to be safe with the bridge and also even before you get to the bridge they should build divide or something like if you hit you hit the divider you didn't hit the actual bridge mm -hmm. like you see Manhattan there's cross town like we're going east west on the Central Park you know 65 66 79 so there's a like um, bridge and they don't want the truck to hit the bridge so they build a little mm -hmm. divider that you go no matter how much you drive you never hit it you know yeah so they should build that road look all these guys selling on the street yeah. goods you know they're not bad the good quality that actually but the real big got 20,000 you can get here 50,000 yeah, Yeah, it's all show off. So where are you from? I'm from my mother. <laughs> what country? I tell people I'm from Philippines that they won't give me a hard time. Here, take the coffee, it's good. It's okay, I have coffee in my building outside. Where are you from? Uh, well, I was born in the U.S., but um, my mom and dad are from Iran. Oh. So she was pregnant with me when she came here. Really? So I was almost born there. <laughs> That's, that's cool. Chimicha, you speak, uh, Chimicha, you speak uh, Rani, Parsi, 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 you speak Parsi? Yeah. Chimicha, what is Chimicha? Chimicha means what do you want? Chimicha, <laughs> see I know the word but I don't know the meaning. What language do you speak? Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew English, Philippine. My wife is Filipina. Oh. You ever been in the Philippines? The no, Philippines I've never is nice. Been. Yeah. Oh, 
granddaughter? My daughter. This is your daughter. Wow. Why is it the candle? Do I look that old? No, no. You're, it's because your wife looks young. Very young. She is young. Yeah. She's, she's half my weight, half my age. Filipino women always look very young. A Japanese, Filipino, yeah, all these Asian, they never age. They never age. They always look young. She's mad. She cares. She has a six, seven years old boy. She cares the boy in um, Parsi language. <laughs> she, that's uh, that's funny. I, I forget the word, but she always. <laughs> you say sure. uh, What she say? I don't know. It depends on how bad she curses. Give me some samples. Some things like <laughs> Ahmad, Ahmad <laughs> Abishur, Yeah, she's she's just funny. Like she she get mad. She, <laughs> He laughed the boy because he don't even understand what she say. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy is like American boy, yeah. Yeah, my parents like when they moved here, my dad had been in America for a little bit. But my Warmly and keep the shade handy if you're going to the game. The overnight tonight will be clear, breezy, chilly, about 39. We'll start the weekend off tomorrow with sunshine, but it's not going to stay sunny all day. Clouds increase in the afternoon, it'll be breezy to high 50s. But we do expect a couple of showers late tomorrow into the first half of tomorrow night. Easter Sunday should be dry, clouds will try to break through some sun, and it's a mild day with temperatures nearing 60. 
cloudy and cooler Monday, probably dry in the morning, but by days end there may be some rain. I-52, and we do expect rain on Tuesday. Sunny, 49 in Central Park, humidity 33%. The wind northwest Actually, at 20, you know, dust to 30. I also just walk from here because I think there's a lot of traffic. Yeah, so yeah. You just walk straight to park. Yeah. Okay. So okay, thank you. So we take a blue bike or something. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Take care. Sorry about the shenanigans. No because the president may be still here. Yeah, that's probably why. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a great day. Good luck. Watch the bicycle. Watch the bicycle. the guy out because and they said so why would you explain that to women walking these streets how do you explain that to me how would you feel about my co-workers i mean that are female that and, have and to i've seen you walking the streets in new york of, uh, to, when you're doing your book remember i saw you oh i am so that i would don't be want somebody you. punching me in the head right and <laughs> you one, know i want one point of reference uh it's distraction don't be looking at your phone when you're walking exactly so you gotta you think about having your earbuds in and everything else when i'm here i don't do any of that stuff my husband has for, for me to ride the subway, which is my favorite way to get around. To me, it's the quickest way to get around New York, but he's like, if I'm not with you, I don't want you to ride the subway. Right. What about me? If I go with you? Um, I'm going to need to see him. <laughs> We're going to do a push-up contest, and this? then, and then we will see. Whether. But here's the thing, too. In New York, a lot of things that women would use to for self-defense, a lot of that stuff is not legal for them to have in New York. So, you know, we are stripped away with some of the things that we could use to like try to protect spray? ourselves. I mean, you know. There are all kinds of things out there. You can you can go down the list, but if you're a law-abiding female, it's really tough to get your hands on some of that So to know that about it, Trump is at a deficit when it comes to fundraising. A lot of the money is going to his cases, and mm -hmm. a lot of people say, I'm fine with that because it's political. Right. And he has pointed out that Mr. Colangelo, Matt Colangelo, was with the Biden defense, uh, Justice Department and now is heading up the case for Alvin Bragg. And a lot of people think reinvigorated the case when he arrived. So he looked at that and the fact that Nathan Wade had two meetings with White House counsel in Athens, Georgia. He says, these are your links. He's gotten in trouble by bringing up Matt Colangelo these days. So having said that, the president's out of deficit. He's a one-man army. He's going against three presidents. Here's what Ari Fleischer said about that. Cut 18. Get ready, Republicans. You are going to get out fundraised all year long. The fact of the matter is, well, the Democrats have become the party of the rich. The Democrats actually defeat Republicans now among those who earn more than $100,000 a year. Those are now Democratic voters. They used to be Republican. Now they're overwhelmingly Democratic voters. And when you look at all the different labor unions, service employee unions, the infrastructure of the Democratic Party, the super PACs, not to mention the event tonight, across the board, the Democrats, because of their rich contributors, are going to outraise Republicans. 
Republicans are going to have to work real hard, and it's a wake-up shot, a warning to anybody who wants Republicans to win, that they're going to have to contribute, they're going to have to work hard, because the Democrats hold the cards, they've got the advantage. I don't think there's anything that's disputable there, but the question is pressure on Larry Trump. Larry Trump has got to get this up thing, for, it's got to be a running start. Where are they at right now, and what is the buzz in Washington about how Larry Trump is doing? Well, I mean, they're down. When you look at the numbers, the super PACs and the campaigns, what they've got head to head Biden versus Trump, there's a real deficit for Trump. And like you said, many of his donors that we'll talk to, they acknowledge that the money is going to legal cases, and they are okay with that. They feel like that's part of the campaign, the campaign expense, essentially. She's got a lot of pressure on her. Now, you and I have known her over the years. Whether you like President Trump or don't, she's very sharp as an individual. Um, she's very smart. She's very effective speaker. So we'll see how she is on fundraising, but there's some ground to make up there. Now, of course, the former president has talked too about, I would spend some of my own money on this. I mean, he's got a new influx with um, True Social and, and those things being traded now. So we'll see if he feels the need to bring in some of his own personal wealth at that point. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, so when she marries Eric, she's like, okay, I'll be in the spotlight. Her dad's host of The Apprentice. <laughs> but sooner or later, those reality shows fade and I'll live a normal life. No, no, no. There's no time for a nap. Right. Not happening. So RFK Jr. is in the race. I think the 35-year-old who he named uh, Miss Shanahan mm -hmm. cool. is, by all standards, a left-winger, mm -hmm. extremely progressive. That helps Trump because no longer can you say RFK is straddling the line between the two, the old liberal environmentalist, now the guy that wants to enforce the border. This really helps the Republicans right now. How hard are they going to come at him? I think that they will, and I think that Trump is already, you know, really trying to paint him as far left, as radical, as much as he can, because people who are sort of like RFK Jr. are curious, you know, I mean, that they're willing to kind of stick around and give him a, a, a look, because maybe they like some of Trump's policies, but they don't like J6, and so they don't know what him down. He's trying to tell them, this is not your guy. If you like me and my policies, we may line up on two or three big things, but for the majority of RFK, RFK Jr.'s record, and now his VP, Nicole Shanahan, they're not in Trump territory, I'm most saying. And you saw the polls that when, when RFK's mm -hmm. in, Trump's lead lengthens. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where that goes, because I don't know if you've noticed, but Republicans, uh, Democrats tend to be kind of vicious. Um, I haven't really picked a you. I've been reading between the lines. <laughs> this Alvin Bragg case, if you were, from what you could tell, and this would be your last question, um, I promise, no one got a convene for lunch. Okay, good. Um, I that, call it brunch at this point. Oh, great, okay. Okay. Uh, on the RFK question. No, no, on the on the Alvin Bragg case. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. coming up in April. Mm -hmm. Coming up in April. What should Trump worry about most that stands out in this case from the legal perspective that says, well, he's got to, he's got to have an answer for this? Uh, I would say the jury. <laughs> I think in New York that's his biggest problem because this is, by most accounts, the weakest case. And that's coming from people across the political and legal spectrum. The they really premises. feel like, right, that this is going to be a really, they're trying to shoehorn something in. This is going to be going to get treated differently by a New York City jury than he is. Uh, in other parts of the world, probably Florida, Mar-a-Lago, all of that stuff will be viewed maybe differently by a jury there. Doctor, so, this case is Miami, right? Yeah, so I think I think that um, jury is his biggest problem here. But again, the theory that they're putting together is so novel and complex that regular jurors may check out and say, like, this is just too much belief. We'll see. And then you, you, would have, uh, you thought it helped to get on the ballot in Colorado and Maine. <laughs> this would be... A, a big jet propulsion for his campaign if he's able to beat it, but it'll take at least six weeks. Shannon Bream, can't wait to watch Fox News Sunday. Is that okay? Okay, but first Saturday night? Oh, Saturday night. Uh, you have a show. One. Did you know that? One Nation. Saturday night. <laughs> Under God. Which, which will have... Are you mocking the name? No, no, I love it. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Which, by the way, we should probably start with the with the national. You should show. do a pledge every night. We should. Uh, Nine o'clock Saturday, including President Trump. I'll see you there. Back in a moment. Want even more, Brian? Download the podcast at BrianKilmeShow.com. Every episode, exclusive interviews on demand. More of Kill Me coming up. Radio 77 WABC. I'm not that kind. I'm that kind. Duh. All right. If you are facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, and other unsecured debt, or struggling to make monthly payments, you need to know there are special services available right now that can significantly reduce what you pay each month by 40% or more. 40%. And that means if you qualify, you could save hundreds of dollars every month. 
Most people don't know that these services are available to help Americans like you with overwhelming credit card debt get significant savings and immediate financial relief without filing bankruptcy. That's why Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you may qualify for. They've helped consumers pay off $1 billion in debt and are A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. So do not wait. Get the relief you need. The information is free, so call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline right now. Call 800-858-7070, 800-858-7070. That's 800-858-7070. Program and services not available in all states. Fellow Americans, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. Market instability and soaring debt have put your retirement at risk. For protection, I recommend diversifying into fiscal gold from Advantage Gold, a five-star rated gold company I've used for years. Their customer service is unmatched. Call 800-741-GOLD now and say Jason Hansen thank you. Picking up somebody. The same Disabled person, I'm picking up disabled person. I'm picking up disabled person. He's waiting. Right yeah. now, it's no eastbound, okay? Yeah, I'm not continuing. The police let me go because they don't let nobody go there. You know, it's oh, crazy. Really? You see, it's all straight empty. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. What's going on? You know, the president here. And oh, the president. All of them: Biden, uh, Biden, Obama, Clinton, Trump. Four presidents come to the city in the same day. Oh, okay. That's crazy. You have appointment. I'm gonna go down, get rid of all this area, go like down. This way is done. No, no, that he said this is not gonna go through east, then it's gonna take us far away. I'm gonna go down to 36 oh, okay. and left. She said, told me, stay away from the east side, like I'm like this, go straight. She said, go far away from this area. Because oh, really? you know, they're all in that area. Yeah, I like your name, so young, so. Young, <laughs> it's a real name or, or, made, or made up? Re yeah, it's re my Korean name. Really? So cool. How they say it? Uh, Onion Gonzalez, or I mix Japanese and Korean. <laughs> Onion Gonzalez. Ohio Gonzalez is in Japanese, but how they say hello in Korean? Onion. 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 An. An. Yon. Anion. Haseya. Haseya. Onion Haseya. Yeah. Onion Haseya. It's so cool to know uh, hello and good morning in many languages. Yeah. <laughs> Times Square. Shakira, she had a show a few days ago. Here, free show here. Shakira, Shakira. Always something in Times Square. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you stay in the hotel or you are uh, from here? Are you visitor or you from here? I'm from here. Oh, you from here? Good. So like a bond, the 
restaurant hotel I think your favorite street is 32nd between 6 and 5 that's a busy oh, yeah. Staten Island, would nobody care? Yeah, because <laughs> city is a busy city. Yeah. It's working. It's... They come to raise money for election. Mm. You know how much dinner between fifty thousand to five hundred thousand. <laughs> fifty thousand dollar a steak or chicken. Chicken romaine. <laughs> Crazy. You can buy a Tesla with that deal. Oh, Obama and Clinton are here too. All of them. That's what's crazy. Three musketeers. Even Trump. Estimated time and traffic, 11 minutes. You're funny, I wrote for you in a message to come to 8th Avenue, you went to 7. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that when I was talking about to you. <laughs> I just decided to meet at 7. has been supporting America's heroes ever since. People who put their lives on the line for our country and our communities need your help now more than ever. Join Thompson Towers on his mission to do good in their honor. Never forget 9-11 or the sacrifices of the country's heroes and their families. Join me in donating $11 a month to T2T.org. That's T, the number 2T.org.
also cleared the channel in order to resume the search for four missing construction workers. Their vehicles appear to be encased in concrete and other debris. Corresponding Kimmy McCormick, the Biden administration has approved $60 million in immediate aid. President Biden has said the federal government will pay the full cost of rebuilding the bridge. A year ago today, American journalist Evan Gaskovich was detained in Russia, accused of espionage. His friends and family speaking out on the anniversary. For the last 365 days, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich has been detained in Russia on espionage charges. The U.S. State Department says Gershkovich has been wrongfully detained. His mother, Ella, spoke with ABC News this week. You know, the U.S. government is taking Evan's case very seriously, so we are optimistic. The Wall Street Journal calling his numerous court hearings baseless proceedings and that he should have never been detained. A Russian court recently extending his pretrial detention until at least June 30th. Good luck, good Friday, have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for teaching me the language. It is kind of crazy. 
crazy. Delivery. We have a poorest country. We have a country that's going to hell. We have a country that's a crime ridden mess. And I'll tell you something. When you take a look at what the migrants do, we have a new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. They call them newcomers. Yeah, they want to call them newcomers. That's true. They do want to call them newcomers. It's called migrant crime, and it's vicious, violent crime. Add that to where it was before, and you get yourself a big mess. Now, uh, we people want safety. They want low taxes. They want good education. They want a strong military. They want to have a country that's respected all over the world. We're left at all over the world. We have a guy can't walk up a flight of stairs or down a flight of stairs. Literally, he can't put two sentences together. We need to be respected as a country. When Mexico says we want $10 billion a year just to talk, they would never say that to me, Brian. I tell you, the best decision you made going to All American, you're about to have it in Massapequa, a burger place. I understand your your people bought you all Americans in Massapequa, so for that I think you're going to be happy on the exit. That's what I heard. Great that. to see you, thank um, you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank so much for thank the time. You. I appreciate it. Much. So that was uh, President Trump, who I uh, met with on the plane, uh, on his plane. Then he took off afterwards. He seemed relatively upbeat for a guy that's got, you know, three cases that are taking a lot of his time. He's got teams of lawyers around him. He has got a uh, re-election campaign that's getting up to gear in an RNC that needs direction. Even though the, you might think Larry Trump's going to do a great job, I'm one of them that thinks he will. I think the other she has respect. She's strong. She, she's smart. Also, another <laughs> thing, you saw what happened with Ronda McDaniel and the way NBC had their talent rise up and push down uh, at their management, and their management actually apologized. Now it looks at the RN, current RNC is looking to get back and maybe will bar NBC from the Republican National Convention because how unfair they are, how disrespectful they clearly were to the former chairperson. And I just think it's absolutely terrible what happened, but I actually am not in support of this. To me, if you leave NBC out, it's another reason to fracture the country and then not give it proper, uh, proper due. But the conventions, let them show up. I'd rather people be disparaging than ignore, because a lot of people are gonna see through it and they understand what being strong on the border is not anti-Hispanic. Being uh, for law enforcement is not against minorities. Understand that uh, you could be uh, for building up defense but not be a war hawk. So all those things and all those themes will be certainly important. So I just think that, that uh, what they did to Ronald McDaniel is so ridiculous. I also think in the big picture, you know, it's not like there's a union organization rising up against management because steel workers are being abusive. I think you're looking at a situation with that is just flat out bias. How you could not welcome her on every round table is nuts, especially after a hard interview. But where we're at right now, I think the party understands, the Democratic Party, yeah, even though the president, president they say, has got a little bit of momentum since the State of the Union address, the party needs direction. And they're gonna try to get it from two past presidents. Here's Ben Dominic, cut 17. That progressive flank that you mentioned, that's a real problem for them, and it's one that they're very scared of. Uh, you can see it in the images that you see out there in the streets. These are not people who are going to be won back easily, and it's why this White House has been tying itself in knots over the Israel issue over the past uh, several weeks in ways that have you know put them in impossible situations really because they they are saying one thing publicly one thing behind the scenes John Kirby's trying to spin on their behalf right. uh, and I don't think that it's actually working I think they really are putting themselves in a bad position and it's gonna be Barack Obama's gonna be on the campaign trail doing it they have come out and said this and this is stunning we will not be doing money in, these are reports from inside the campaign Joe Biden won't be doing many national interviews. He's done very few anyway, almost none. And he does some major blunders when you talk about Afghanistan, saying I'm not gonna leave till everyone's out of there. No general ever told me 
that things could fall apart like this. The stories that he makes up that aren't verified, the way he said, handles the court cases, now that we know about Hunter Biden, they think they're going to get away with long, friendly podcasts and doing local media. However, you did see how bad local media got. When we come back, we're going to be joined by a special guest, Ami Kozak, comedian, musician, Don't move. It's Brian Kilmeade on Talk Radio 77 WABC. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. Urgent Camp Lejeune settlement message. The government will soon begin providing fast, guaranteed settlements to Camp Lejeune Marines, families, and civilians. Awards will range between $100,000 and $550,000 with an option for higher amounts. If you or a loved one spent time at Camp Lejeune and suffered cancers of the bladder, liver or kidneys, leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's, or kidney issues, you may be entitled to a significant financial reward for your Camp Lejeune claim and could be paid within 60 days after accepting your settlement with your VA benefits fully protected. But the deadline for filing is fast approaching, so you need to act now. Call the James Harris Law Camp Lejeune helpline now to get the compensation you deserve. We're already fighting for thousands harmed by the water at Camp Lejeune, and with the deadline coming, you need to call now or you may forever lose your right to a settlement between $100,000 and $550,000. For your free evaluation, call 800-877-6611. 800-877-6611. 800-877-6611. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope, and they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget your learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversation in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-C-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Janine Hero here. The Talented Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes. U.S. service members and first responders who die or are catastrophically injured in the line of duty and homeless veterans. These are heroes we all owe a debt of gratitude to. The Foundation's gold star fallen first responders, smart home, and homeless veteran program honor the sacrifices made for us by the men and women who risk their lives and bodies for our country and our community. The Foundation never forgets programs and hate for 9-11 remembrance across America with over 80 runs, walks, and climbs a year, and dozens of golf outings and barbecues. The Tunnel's Tavern's 9-11 Institute educates kids in kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day while helping our nation to keep its vows to never forget. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel's Tavern's goes to its program. Never forget 9-11 or the sacrifices of our country's greatest heroes. Thanks so much for being here all week long, not just today. 
Uh, we've got a special guest with us now. Uh, he's going to be... Just a head turn right on East 33rd Street. So we were able to book him. Uh, Ami Kozak is here. Ami, great to see you. Great to see you, Ryan. Thanks for having so me. So you just tell me you've got this rich musical background. Mm. And then do COVID hit, and yeah. you say, listen, it's pretty funny. Maybe I could do some videos. What, what did it turn into? Well, basically, yeah, I came from the music world. I still am an active musician and composer, producer. I play in a band called Distant Cousins, and we do original music. And the world of music sort of has a, a formula to it, a, a, a curriculum, so to speak. You know, you learn music, you go to school for music, you study music. And in the world of comedy, it was sort of like this neglected child of mine. I wasn't giving a lot of attention professionally, but people are told that impressions. I come from like, a, you know, Orthodox Jewish family. We used to go to the Borscht Belt Catskills growing up, and I was always entertaining their friends. Oh, I know. Do Dr. Ford stuff. Do Dr. Ford stuff. Uh, you know, get on the coffee table and entertain. So I always had a passion for it. And then once uh, I started utilizing social media as an outlet for my comedy, it was I was able to build an audience organically. So, for example, with Trump, you, you're, 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 Trump amazes you in so many ways. Yes. Including his transition. Unbelievable. I gotta say, people underestimate him. That's always been the downfall of the Trump detractor is that they underestimate his skills. He is the master of segues. In, more, in, in, in some ways, but yes, well, sometimes they seem awkward. I cracked the code the other day. I realized, like, he can take any subject, any two subjects completely unrelated and with two magical phrases. He can connect the two. And those two phrases are, and other things too, you know you look at. <laughs> and other things too, you know you look at. So I'll be like, yeah, it's terrible what's going on in Israel. Terrible, terrible situation. They gotta, they gotta take care of it. They gotta take care of us. And other things too, you know, you look at Ukraine. <laughs> and other things too, you know, Ukraine is just a total disaster. It never would have happened if I was president. And other things too, you know, you look at China. <laughs> And other things too, you know, I had a leak in my bathroom, it was terrible. Leaks coming down, leaks to the press, Trump stream of consciousness, and other things too, you know, you look at Melania, she's great. You look at so many things, and other things too, you know, you look at... Yeah. How are you doing, Sebastian? Yes. Head to your drop off at Gramercy Tavern. Welcome, welcome. Open in the middle, there's a place for the car. Open.
politician who speaks English. <laughs> that is and America. Honestly, no, I'm, I, I, I make this, I say this to my audiences all the time. Like, I, I know that BB right now is, in, of course, as unpopular as ever, being responsible for the greatest security failure in Israel's history. But we're still going to need him in Israeli politics at some point, in some way, no matter what, because he speaks English. Have you lived in Israel? I lived there for a year after uh, after high school, yes. Would you ever live there again? You know, I have family there. It's, it's amazing. I think it gets this perception as a, understandably, as this war zone, dangerous place. But if you go there, it's a thriving Western liberal democracy. But they have backed off on the north, right? Because of Hezbollah? Well, they bought different place that twins of tens of thousands. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from, yeah, I mean listen, to, as, in a time of war, I think people have this notion in Israel that it's always in a state of war. Right now, it actually is. <laughs> So that's understandable, and yes, I mean, right now it has things it has to deal with, and it has uh, existential threats uh, on all of its borders. But in general, I think a lot of people who've never been would be surprised to find a place that's very familiar. And you, you, you see these Palestinian protests, and you're outraged, uh, as am I. Yeah, yeah that is much better today yeah. than yesterday. Yeah, no, Upper East Side is a lot of problem because the president is still here, maybe. You know? Oh, there is a president in, the, in yeah, New York? Yeah, all of them. Biden. Oh, is that right? Obama, Clinton, Trump. Oh. Yeah, they come to fundraise money, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I hope they leave already. Travel make. Where are they? Are they in the city? And uh, 50th Street and 6th Avenue area. What's happening? City Hall, City, Radio City.
Easy come, easy go.
want information. Absolutely. Mike in Indiana. Isn't the fact that the money Hunter Biden received from China, Russia, and Ukraine for his bogus services um, by way of numerous shell companies damning enough? Yeah, he's charged. He's charged with evading taxes. Pick up on the left. cases in California. So that's pretty damning. And I think he'll be convicted. Jim Flaherty, Villa Park. If the U.S. Constitution is such a perfect document, how can the DAs and judges in New York get away with what they're doing to Trump? Where are the checks and balances? The appeals process. So let's see if they get away. Help it, Trump. I believe it is. Yeah, Zaki. Yeah. Sure, sure. Head to your drop off at Chevelle. to check it out and Mars sent it to me on Instagram so I think we're gonna go stop by there and shopping but then at night um, Andrea who's, who's Mars's friend she booked Silver Lining Lounge yeah at the Moxie um, which is really fun so hopefully it should be a fun night did you invite Peter and Paula to, uh, to Should we invite them? Um, what's the reservation for tomorrow? 
Five is fine because Gus is a half human. What? La Mercerie? Yeah. I mean, is there an alternative? I've never been. We could try to go to Upland like early. We just put our name down. to a bigger restaurant. It's still small, but it's not like five seats like it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Honestly, bro, I got a resi. Like, the resi alert popped up and I just snatched it and it was for 9 p.m. and it worked out great because we, um, we went to a comedy show. Um, then grabbed a drink at Commerce Inn and then went and we got a nice meal. Croatia. It's a little problematic. <laughs> Cause you know, he you know, she's pursuing her dreams and going to vet school and like doing all this stuff and like he's kinda of following her, you know? Like he's not pursuing his own dreams. Like he's putting his life a little bit on hold. He doesn't have any, that's a problem. The dream is to be with her. Dad. Dad. No, 
there's nothing wrong with that, but like he's you know like he's dependent on his mom, his dad, his girlfriend. Like he's not you know like a solid person yet. He's young. Um, I think like he's 26. Oh wow. Well. Dude, it 
is literally the perfect day. I know you're disappointed, I'm sorry. I'm not, I love it. Poor Lena, I hope she's alright. I think she has a little postpartum. It's hard to be a mom, dude. That's what I mean, like, why is, like, something that's, like, inherently natural, like, procreation, feel, like, so unnatural to me?
just get off here to the right. Yeah, okay, let me put it to the side. Then. Yeah, no problem. You go right and right. Okay. You know what Yeah. Okay, thank you. Then thank you. Good ride and take care. Have a good one. Have a good day. Telling families of soldiers kidnapped and held hostage by Hamas that the country's forces are preparing to enter Rafa. Tell me, there's no one will be left behind. Tell me, Americans are split when it comes to immigration, an issue that's been at the core of a lot of political debate. About 40% of Americans surveyed say that when immigrants come to the U.S. legally, it's a major problem for companies to get the expertise of skilled workers. And 38% say legal immigrants enrich American culture and Tell me, Both figures are down compared with 2017, when 59% said skilled immigrant workers were a major benefit to the U.S. And 50%. Read featuring Curtis Lewa, Talk Radio 77, WABC, when the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Sided Midnight with Frank Morano was live on the air. The Francis Scott Key Bridge has collapsed, giving you details as they have it. Tell me, that's something. I live about three blocks from there. Normally, that channel isn't that operative like that. And here's what was on other stations in New York. Live, local, all night long. Not Memorex, 77 WABC. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes Tell me is long. long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use. About travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's Tell lessons are taught by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, <laughs> it's hard. It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. It's Ocean Drive in Coney Island. Ocean Drive is the only luxury rental in New York with a spectacular ocean view. You wake up in the morning and breathe that ocean air. I'm certified that you're going to live 10 years longer. When I became successful, I wanted to live on the ocean. If you have worked hard, you're deserving an apartment on Ocean Drive, too. Go to OceanDriveNYC.com and reward yourself. If you're a policeman, fireman, doctor, nurse, or teacher, you qualify Tell for a limited time something. offer at Ocean Drive NYC. Dot com. Terms and conditions apply. Get more in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. More selection, over 750 new vehicles available, and more savings on their entire Mazda lineup. Lease a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 2.0 Select All-Wheel Drive, just $269 a month at Ramsey Mazda. Route 17 North in Ramsey, New Jersey. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. Call 888-885-2891 for lease details. Excludes tax, title, and registration. Zero security deposit. VIN number R0451173. SRP 30,750 and 4124. More of the music you want to hear is on Music Radio WABC. Plus dozens of other top stars in continuing entertainment. Presented by Cousin Brucey, Vinny Madunio, Tony Orlando, Joe Piscopo. Music is our Radio 77 WABC. This is the Rip and Read featuring Curtis Lewa. Now to the Bernard McGurk Studios.
this uh, is the theme song for these mutants, these cretins with chromosome damage, who are roaming the streets of New York City with not a care in the world because there are no consequences for their actions as they go up and they sucker punch women. And as many as seven, Nancy, there'll probably be more because you know what happens at first. A lot of victims are not willing to come forward. They're just so shock traumatized that walking into a police precinct to report a crime, uh, let's just say the TLC, tender loving kid, ain't there. It's sort of like, what do you want? I just been punched in the face. Go ahead, sit down there. We'll get a sergeant to talk to you. Absolutely. <laughs> it's some of the worst experiences you've ever had. You would never have that in business. But in a police precinct, it says, sit over there, fill out the paperwork, lady. I, I, got, I got paperwork to do here. But let's talk about not just all seven of these physical attacks on women, punched in the face, sucker punched by men, but the most egregious of the many, and they're all horrible. But this one, I mean, again, it's an indication of police, judges and DAs, whether in collaboration, whether separately or independently, turning loose these enemies of women to come out and do it again and again. Now, I'm going to need yeah. translation now. How are you doing? Crying for Let's go. Somebody is getting married. <laughs> who, who is the who is the poor guy or the poor girl? Walking home from her job. He's at home. <laughs> Depend on your mood. Sometimes you're killing us. Sometimes. But funny, in front of that store, they open a groom store. Oh really? Yeah. For the men, like when you go there, you see. I'll see it. Store for men.
Sunday, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to Aris's sister's house.
they're really concerned, even though some of those electeds are for no cash bail and have bashed the police. I'll be outside with the peeps. Pasta. <laughs> it is our window. Ah, okay. It's building. Coincidence. We move here, but I don't feel belong in this area. I'm sorry. Said, we move here, but I don't feel belong in this area. Where do you live? No, this building. But everybody here is skinny with a little dog. <laughs> Chubby with kids. <laughs> Come to be my neighbor. It's a good I like it downtown. Oh, really? You don't like Chelsea? You see here they have this kids' playground. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's a, little, it's a little louder in Chelsea than it is uh, oh. all the way downtown. Downtown, nighttime. And I, and I work downtown, yeah, so I gotta, I gotta stay there. Yeah, good for you. You can just walk, walk to work. Yeah. I see the pink tree, the trees start to be blooming. In the summertime, they open the water fountain here. Kids love it. Yep. If you have problem with your phone, next to Kleinfeld is one guy fix iPhone, he's really good and cheap. It's a Chinese guy, he, you will see the sign next to Kleinfeld. Actually his car is here, I can take a picture, let's see. I can take a picture. He's, you know, if scratch, phone, any problem, fix any phone. Cheaper than Apple. See that over there? That's Clive. Yes. <laughs> the guy fixed here. That's the guy. Okay. But don't go this mic. Mic expensive, but this guy is much cheaper. Great. 
Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Take care. Head to your pickup at W twenty first Street and Avenue of the Americas.
Chili chicken or your favorite filling. And three, bake until perfectly crisp. Three easy steps compared to the 1,872 steps it takes to climb to the top of the Empire State. Or the 7.5 million steps it takes to walk from coast to coast. See, making homemade empanadas with Goya empanada dough is easy. Find it in the freezer section. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Rudy Giuliani, I say you were removed, Bragg, for violating his oath of office. He put his hand on the Bible and he said, I'll uphold the laws of New York. Well, he's not upholding the laws of New York.
fall. Thank you. Have a good day. Good luck. Happy Good Friday. Alexa, when the president leave New York? Alexa, how's the traffic to Astoria, Queens? Alexa, how's the traffic to Astoria, Queens?
say them, I call beside them. I call beside them. ניסית להתקשר? מה קורה? שבת שלום. הפי איסטר, עושים שם איסטר? על האיסטר. הילדה צבעה את כל הביצים. תקנה לי איזה אוכל הודי. אוטו התקלקל.
Mă abicaști Hello. No, you coming downstairs? We're gonna go outside. I will go downstairs. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping. sunshine outside but it's good to have jack jacket get the light jacket you're gonna, you're gonna bring your book you got a book Uncle Al I try to call stop Alexa stop Uncle Al No good chichi. No good chichi, huh? That is good. It's good? Yeah, that is good. You have a list what you want from the Korean deli? I do got a list, but he didn't make a list yet. Mama make a list, she takes me. She wants coffee, she wants Nestor coffee. coffee. Hey, I want coffee. Yeah. What, what else? I want Ask mama what else she wants. I'm just joking. I want Coca Cola. I want Coca Cola. Coca Cola? Well, I'm taking you there. Don't ask me money because I don't have EBT. Oh, yeah. Don't, I, I'm, it's enough. I'm taking you there. Ask mama for me. No money, no honey. Spanish family, they're standing every day here next to Wells Bank. They're asking for money. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my Indian food. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing later. I got a little Indian food. Yeah. 
Did you eat already? Okay, see you, see you soon. Oh, the food is so, they're so spicy, the Indian food. Why not? What's your problem? I'm not driving, I'm, wa I'm waiting for you. I'm not driving, I'm standing, I'm waiting for you. What are you talking about? Yeah, bring just in case, yeah, bring. Bring just in case. Get the new jacket, the light one. Let's go, Miriam, let's go.
know that was what my childhood was like. What, uh, when you think back, what was the big break? What was the, the gig, the relationship, the business moment that really opened the door for you to become a professional? It's, um, I was, I think the reason I was committed to write a book is because it isn't your, the questions you would ask me are, are I was 16 years old. Mm. First time I went on stage was the first time I went on stage. <laughs> first time I'd ever seen a live show. I had a record in the charts 10 years before that was big. Yeah. So then something else big happened almost 10 years later. And throughout my career, it's been big things and then nothing. But the biggest and most important thing to me that um, helped me uh, gather a few more people in my 25th or 30th year, I was able to do the Kennedy Center Honors mm -hmm. and to perform at uh, Barack Obama's and all the old uh, uh, party and I um, more people saw me then than had ever seen me before but it has been a step uh, it has been step by step this is my um, seventh Grammy nomination maybe eighth I don't know I keep telling my audience I'm becoming the Susan Lucci of Rhythm and Blues and I uh, while I'm I'm <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you, but I'm listening to this boy. Well, let's listen to some music from the Grammy-nominated album, La Vette. Let's listen to In the Meantime, which features John Mayer. All right, let's hit it. Hey, how you bring that shoes? Why you bring that shoes? You bring that shoes, why? Why do you decide to go to, to go there today? Because I see I have bored and no play date, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> what is the name of uh, type? The uh, type here. Yeah. You do? I don't know how to spell. Bring up your money, because I don't have money. I don't want to get No, no, uh, so go upstairs, because I don't have extra, because you went shopping. It's enough, I took off now from work. I'm your driver, Uber. It's OK, I'm just going to go somewhere. OK, go somewhere. No, seriously, bring, because you're buying all this Philippine food that has no use. How you can just ask? Listen, uh, Kleinfeld, they're hiring, so you should check the huh? website. Kleinfeld hiring. They're getting busy, you should check the website. J O L N. That's jelly. That's how you spell it? Yeah. And how you spell the bean? B. E, E, N? No, you just put a B. Just put the B. Zzz. Ah! Zzz. The B. Ah! The chill bees are coming. Zzz. I... Don't bite me. <sighs> shish kebab. Are you a shish kebab? You like your new jacket, it's so nice. Snake. Snake. I hope the president left because it caused a lot of traffic in the city. Four of them. They're all over. Oh, she won't check my name. Too late. Oh, yeah, she won't check my name. Let's go check my name. Okay, maybe they have one on Park Avenue. You want to check? You have your phone check Chick fil A on the way. I found Dada's phone. Maybe they have one on different location. 
destination on the way. No! You are wrong, the little data. You need to talk in advance before you. Before you. Park Avenue and Sama. Park Avenue, what, what, what cross street? What number? Maybe this one in the park out. 461. 461 what? 10617. 461 Park Avenue South. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 30th Street. Let's take East 20th Street, Park Avenue South Manhattan. In 800 feet, turn left on Park Avenue South. Indian food, pillows of many different colors. You see, I had the pillows, color pillows. Yeah. You like them? Well, there's also blankets or towels. Cute towels. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, Coke, French fries, and chicken. Uh, I want what do you call that chicken there? Yeah. Well, Ch chicken like nugget or chicken? I French fries, chicken and coke. What kind of chicken? chicken nugget? Tender. Chicken tender? How many pieces? Maybe just Turn four because I'm kind of full. Because eight, you don't eat eight. Dada, did you, Dada, did you eat black food? I eat uh, Indian food. Yeah, I had breakfast too, yeah. Did you eat breakfast? Colin is in Long Island today. Jacob is sick. A assassin in Miami, Florida. And we're going to Queens. Are you messaging them? I message everyone. Tristan in the Bronx. The grandma. He's telling me with grandma, I'm not sure where. Yeah, I didn't message Christy. I forgot. Because we're busy. We're going to Queens anyway. Why not? You want to bring Crystal with us to Queens? You get too wild with you. Crystal, you're too wild. Where is the commode control? You left it in the house? Why you didn't bring it? Oh, I was Oscar. Oh, 
with the ayah. Come get on. Get all of them. Experience. But we're not going to be no, get all of them. Experience with the, the... I see Chick-fil-A. Where? Where is he? Right there. Okay. You want to go with mama or with daddy? Mm, daddy. Go with them. Because I need to pay. I give you the money. You go. No. Get there. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. That's not real money. Give me the real money. Give me the real money. We yeah, have this guy's mom side. No. Yeah. Then, then mama get out and then I go. No, so you can. You can go over
I ate, I don't want anything. Give it to mama. Give it to big mama. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Give it to big mama. Take the tunnel or the bridge. Chicks, chicks. Take the tunnel. Take the tunnel. Faster? Yeah! Tano! Tano! I'm going downtown or uptown? Uptown? Uptown, downtown. Now hurt. That's 
1-800-NOW-HERD. Or online at 1-800-NOW-HERD.com. W-I-N-S, 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 W-I-N-
prefer to be home with Mama or in the camp, Aya? In the ship. Come on, Dad. You can have go if you don't finish. Why? But, but you were too far. That's how it is. In 900 feet, use the middle two lanes to continue to I-278 East toward LaGuardia Airport, the Bronx. Then stay to the right. What? Continue straight. Then use the right lane to stay to the right to I-278 East toward LaGuardia Airport, the Bronx. LaGuardia Use the right lane to stay to the right to I-278 East toward LaGuardia Airport, the Bronx. LaGuardia to uh, Pilam or what his name? The Philippine store too? No. Uh, only the yellow store? The yellow supermarket? Yeah. The picture you didn't Dada, Mama told me what to do in the car. What did, I, what, what did I say? You said to finish. Yeah. Dada! Ah, yeah. Uh, Mama told me what to do in the car. No problem. as much as you can. In one mile, take exit 39, New York 25, Maybe Queens for later. Boulevard, 65th place. Later, huh?
I did this and I took the tunnel. I didn't take the bridge. You didn't see the tunnel? Or you were busy eating? to the zoo, to Central Park Zoo. Turn left on 65th place. Arrange with Crystal. Definitely no. Arrange with Crystal or the Philippine Mafia. No, I, I took her before. Yeah, but now she's, uh, she's older. You took her when she was a baby. She, oh, I don't want to go. That's... She want to say hello to the monkeys. I don't want to go. You don't want to say hello to the turtle? No. Monkeys? Uh, Fish? Giraffe, lion, no. meow, meow, cat. Yes, I will. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Cinco minutos. See the picture of the Dad, cat in, in the back of the car? Dad, look, do you see it? That's yeah. that way. Yeah, that's that way. need to go to Burlington. Totally, all right, and you didn't go to Burlington. Go oh, HM. We need to go to HM. They have nice selection. Good, good deals. It's your turn again, Dad. How is the shoes? The shoes is comfortable? Well, Dad, uh, the shoes are comfortable, but this clothing is cold outside. <laughs> but they don't match with the shoes. That's okay. Only a white clothing with a lot of flowers on it. It's okay. Go with the flow. You don't worry too uh, much. I'm not going with the flow. Go with the flow. I don't match anything too. I just put and go. No. Red bakery, Miriam. Red ribbon bakery. Nah. You need something? <laughs> go left. Pancho flow by it.
Chabi, chabi, chabi. Go straight or stop at the yellow. Where is the yellow? On the left, next black on the left side? Right side. But I see the sign on the left side. You don't see on the left side? Well, I told Dad a secret. You arrived. Destination is on your right. Where is it? Mama. Mama, I told Dad a secret in the morning. Okay, look, this jelly bean. Go straight. Go straight. Jolly, Joe, O L I B. J O L I B. But I forgot. I go, go right. No, go left. Uh, this way. Which way? This way. Maybe this guy will go back a little. Are you going to take Aya with you? You want to come here? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Go she maybe find a toy. A toy or, or something to eat. Maybe she will say no. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because the car will be boring. There's another supermarket here. It's open. Oh, it's open. You push. I want to clean the car. Correct. If I have a subway, Rashim. Okay, look, the cashier may come check it. Yeah, let's run.
More than any other holiday or season, Easter and Passover show us the limitless love of our God, a love that reaches past death itself. Colonel Timothy Dolan here. In Easter, we Christians celebrate this love that knows no bounds, a love that unites us and lasts eternally. Jesus lived and walked among his people. He talked with friends and ate with strangers. Well, Easter calls us to connect with our own communities, both our Catholic brothers and sisters and our fellow New Yorkers of all beliefs. This is a time for deepening our faith and putting that faith into action. Now, in our Catholic health care system, Arch Care, we see love and unity lived out in the relationships between our patients, families, and staff. We see it in the daily service of our health care workers who've committed themselves to caring for our beloved elders and the most vulnerable among us. Easter is a celebration of Christ's resurrection, of love that will last forever. This Easter and Passover, let's show the boundless love of God as we care for one another. To learn more about Arts Care, visit artscare.org. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $40 a month. Then we called Select Quote. Select Quote found us identical coverage for only $18 a month, a savings of nearly $300 a year. Whether you need a $100,000 policy or a $10 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. In a hurry? Don't worry. With Select Quote, you can get up to $2 million in instant, affordable, same day coverage with no medical exam. Call Select Quote at 1 800 637 9116. That's 1 800 637 9116. Or go to SelectQuote.com. That's 1 800 637 9116. Full details on example policies at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. Give yourself a fresh start with Mercedes-Benz of Edison, the Ray Katina dealership that's been awarded the 2024 Mercedes-Benz Dealer of the Year in the United States by Cars.com. Experience the Ray Katina way, where the customer always comes first. Visit Mercedes-Benz of Edison. Good afternoon, I'm Lane Pajardi. Wins news time at the zone, 2.30. Good afternoon, I'm Tori Madden. Tribute have been pouring in this afternoon for an Oscar-winning actor who blazed a trail. Louis Gonson Jr. played the toughest nail Sergeant Foley in 1982's An Officer and a Gentleman. I said fall in, you slimy worms! The role won him an Oscar and a place in the history books. It's the first black person to win Best Supporting Actor. He was 46 when he won the Oscar, but his career started when he was just 16. He made his Broadway debut in Take a Giant Step in 1953. His career would include five Emmy nominations, including one in 2020 for his role in HBO's Watchmen. And he also co-starred in last year's remake of The Color Purple. Louis Gossett Jr. was 87. Jason Nathan's an ABC News. Hollywood. Coleman Domingo, who played Gossett's character's son in The Color Purple, shared a photograph he captured of the person he called Dad. He said, kind beyond measure, regal, we owe him so much. Time, time for traffic and transit. Here's to Ella. Not a pretty ride at all at the George Washington Bridge. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels inbound George. Lower level, about a 45-minute delay. And this is all because of an accident underneath the apartment. It takes out at least one lane to stop and go. The upper level is slightly better. That's about 30 to 35 minutes, but still you're moving across the span. Best approach will be the Palisades Parkway approach or even Route 4. Now on the outbound side, that's also about a 40-minute delay. All the approaches, uh, they're pretty heavy, but the best approach is actually the northbound side of the Deegan. Not too bad right now. Uh, we're looking at about uh, 30 minutes in at the Lincoln outbound, at least a 25-minute delay and 20 minutes both ways at the Holland Tunnel. Now, in Queens, still working on this problem, and this is on the Van Wick southbound right at Queens Boulevard. You got the center lane blocked. This is all because of a collision, and uh, then the DLIE eastbound slows down through the fairgrounds all the way out here near the county line. The eastbound side of the Grand Central is better, but still a bit slow. And then in Brooklyn, it's stop and go on the eastbound side of the Bell Parkway from about the Ocean Parkway all the way out to Erskine Street. This is all because of construction. And traffic is sponsored by the DPHO Law Firm. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the lines and breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Glenn Lewis. Attention, please. Attention, patients of urologist Darius Padu. If you were suspicious of Dr. Padu, you're right. Call 
Call the DiPietro Law Firm at 212-233-3600 to learn more. That's 212-233-3600 or visit atdlaw.com. Attorney advertising. Now the AccuWeather four-day forecast here is meteorologist John Farrick. Snow comes up, blustery, cool afternoon out there. Temperatures are up in the mid-50s, but when you factor in that wind gusting to 35 miles per hour, we're going to feel in the 40s, so definitely need to bundle up a little bit. Above a mostly clear sky for tonight, stays a little bit on the windy side, down to 39. A nicer day for tomorrow, it's still breezy. Sunshine and some clouds are up to 58, and we'll see a few showers later tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. We dry out later tomorrow night. It should be dry for Easter Sunday, clouds and some sunshine behind near 60, but it looks like some rain comes in again Sunday night. And what periods of rain on Monday? The high only right around 50. Right now, Central Park 56 with some sunshine. We'll fall back to 39 tonight in Midtown. I'm AccuWeather Meteorologist John Fierick on New York's weather station, 1010 Wings on 92.3 FM. Jackpot lets you order official state lottery games on your phone instead of waiting online. Powerball is now over $935 million. Use code RADIO for a free ticket. Play Jackpot today at your local gambling problem. Your call 187-8 open line or text open line. New Jersey call one 800 gambling Wednesday's on 233. Funeral services were held in Stamford today for former senator and vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman. Former Vice President Al Gore called his 2000 running mate a mensch. We laughed together, fought like hell together for what we wanted our country to be. Pray together. Thought for a season we had won together, but... You know that part of the story. You win some, you lose some, and then there's that little known third category. The 82-year-old Lieberman, who later left the Democratic Party, died Wednesday here in the city. His family says he suffered complications from a fall. With me, son, 234. The slow and complicated process of removing the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge and the container ship that rammed into it have begun in Baltimore, where the largest crane on the eastern seaboard is among the equipment being used to haul it all away. An estimated 9 million pounds of wreckage of what was Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge are laying across the bow of the Delhi cargo ship. Removing that twisted steel will be one of the first priorities so the ship can be towed away. Coast Guard officials say assessments are underway to determine how to bring the outbreak into a right size pieces so that a crane can be lifted. Even the largest crane on the East Coast was just a poor slip of boat. Dark chocolate or white chocolate? Well, I didn't pick the Dada! Dada, is test clear because the nuts? Dada! 
Dad, it's weird because there's a map. Oh, that's weird. There's a map inside. That's why. Yeah, and there's a map inside. Dada, do you see on the vapor? Dada, do you see on the vapor? Do you see the nuts inside? Dada, 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 look inside. Do you see the nuts inside? Yeah. So that's why you just have to be able to see the next one. That's why. Well, you need to make the donuts and the ice in their own environment the first time around. Oh, you need to cut the Godzilla and Kong are stomping all over the record book. She won't be able to. Yes, Dad. Well, you need a make it. It's a movie, Mary. Godzilla. Dad, you need a make it. In 900 feet, turn right on 37th Avenue. Turn on Willing to Fall will play former MVP executive David Cabet in a movie about the beginnings of Saturday Night Live. Jason Reitman will direct SNL. Check the obstruction. playground. We call the playground by the color because different color, different playground. This look like the orange one. Yeah, that's the orange playground. We used to go there. Yeah. When mama used to go nail somewhere. Guys, the legal immigrants are looking for a job. You see them right in the corner? Mm -hmm. Somebody bring them food to eat, you know? Look, Mama. They're eating you, Mama. 
sit all day and wait, waiting for a job. This why I said they should have an app. Because each of these guys, you know, plumbing, you know, electrician. So if you need plumbing, electrician, just click, see the name list of guys. Talk to them, see you has a good deal, you know. Funny is when the car comes, they all jump in on the car. Second Street, when six people entered the shop and demanded the clerk open up the display case, he refused. They wound up breaking it, causing injuries to the clerk. He was treated at the scene. Police think the same group had a second job on Amsterdam and 81st, and a third on Next Avenue in Gramercy. Now, one person has been arrested, but the others remain at home. <coughs> Shoes red, one shoes red, uh, black.
still look the biggest in the area. Look how much they build all over. This is actually Queens over here. This building, it's, my, it's Queens, it's not my name. Use the left lane to stay to the left to exit 35W.
peanuts in the sand. So take the nuts out the chocolate and eat the chocolate. Oh, it's not easy. It's a real point. Use the scissor or knife or spoon. I have idea. Put it in a pan, melt the chocolate, take the nuts out, and put the chocolate in the fridge there, and eat it later. Melt, melt the chocolate. You can melt it on the pan. Yeah, and then, and then make it. And then. You put it in the fridge then. Yeah. And take the nuts out. Yeah. That's a good experiment. You want to do it later when you get home? Yeah, and let's also take the marshmallows out. Yeah, take them out. But there's no marshmallows. The marshmallow too? Only the marshmallow. Yeah, I don't like marshmallows. Chocolate shower, you, you use the chocolate on your body like a soap. Oh, yeah, and then, and then when you put it on the soap, you're gonna put your tongue out. Yeah, you can, you can eat, you can lick soap, it. lick it while you take a shower. That's a good experiment. Let's try it. Half for me, half for you. Well, I'm also clean my shoes. <laughs> With the chocolate? Shoe, shoe chocolate? Yeah. That's a new. for you? Yes. We can add coffee. I can splash coffee and you in the shower. No! Coke and cola! And then I can open my mouth. Yeah. Try coke. Okay, bring this Coca-Cola. And try coffee too. Yeah, at the same time? Yeah. Shh. Coca-Cola shower, coffee shower, chocolate shower. Coca-Cola shower? Got a lot of sound. experiment. Yeah, I got a good idea. How about ice cream shower? Say, say thank you to Ray. Ray. Dada, how about ice cream shower? Yeah, ice cream yeah, shower. No, how about money say, shower? Say thank you. No, how about money shower? Thank you to Ray. Ray. Thank no, you. Dada, Ray. how about money shower? Money shower? What is money shower? A money shower means money comes when you are taking a shower. I put all the all the coin I throw on you in the shower. No money is there. Thank you, Mr. Ray Ray. Dr. Ray Ray is in the building. King. Miriam said, said thank you, Ray. I, I don't, don't spill the Miriam should take it the stick along. Uh, yeah, let's take it off the train. Say from your uh, from your name, Miriam. I have Rex. Can you look for me out? Take it off the chain. No, I use it for my customer. Don't, don't, hey. don't touch it. Hey. Yeah, here, use it for me. Here, here. Okay, I 
I give you a phone. Here is the phone. Wait. But wait, I need to restart because it's. But it's so long. Wood, 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 wood. Just a little bit. Friday, good Friday today. Thank you, Dr. Ray Ray. Thank you, Uncle Ray. Ray Ray is in the building. Ray Ray represented. No way. Dad, I love you. I know what happened to you too. What? Yay. Hey, I love you too. Oh man! Kids. Oh, mama, daddy. This kid is good for it because it's a lot of trouble. Told ya, you need a pay. Mm. Not working. Why not in there? Yes.
Super 11. Is Roosevelt. Love, Miriam, love. <laughs> Miriam, love. <laughs> I can't even delete one. Mama don't know how to love. Teach, teach Ryan, teach mom.
Happy Halloween! Trick or treat! Fix it, Mary, fix it. Can you fix it now? If we have something in the lab, or you want me to?
told you. I told you. Oh, Dada, I can show you something crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. Show Mama, show Mama. I know, but Mama will see. Uh, something crazy. I saw, you saw something suspicious? Yeah, I didn't tell you. I saw something suspicious. Let me see, let me see. Okay, I will show you. Just, yeah, right here. No. Look at that. The okay, play it. No, play it. I'm not playing that. No. Play it. Digital no. circus is good. No. Why not? No. Why not? Mwah. Is that Me clean? love you long time. Daddy love you long time. Me love you long, long, long time. See so the selling books. I knew it isn't over there. That's why this is not a mom. You okay, mom? Okay. Uh -huh. Why? <laughs> Miss Bowser. <laughs> he took medication. No. Little bit of everything. Zone out. I want to hang up YouTube. I want to delete you too. No, don't delete because it's uh, Mama phone. Don't delete. I'll try to. No, don't delete. Miriam, tell her not to delete stuff. Just watch. You don't want to watch. Okay, she'll give me my phone if she's okay. deleting no, stuff. No, don't delete. Don't delete. I didn't delete it. Oh, I didn't delete it. Put YouTube kids for him. He's so boring. Ice cream. I want ice cream. Later, later. Look! I know, it's the wrong side. But I want ice cream. On the way, on the way. How about ice cream from 16 hands? Yeah, maybe. We're gonna go uh, Whole food. Maybe we can get something from Whole food. Did she need a smoothie or something? Or she yeah. has yeah. She has ice cream in the house too, yeah? The fridge. Dada, touch right here. Touch what? Right here. Why? I'm, I'm driving. I'm busy. The, the touch well. Yeah. Yeah? What well, do you want to check if you have a fever? No. Oh, look, they put something there, you see? It's too hot. But they are doing on that. Look at the horse. Can you say hi, horsey? No. Then why did you have a flower there? The horse has a flower? It has a flower. Say hi, horsey. Come on. Come on. Also at home alone. Yes. You want to say hi, horsey? Right there. That's the Hello, horsey. Hello. 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 My name is Aya. Go tell him. Tell him what's your name. Talk to him. You don't like horse? Yeah, of course. You, you need to listen. Hi, horsey. How you do? I'm <laughs> That's how the horse do.
Do you want to get ice? Okay, let's get it. Okay, Miriam, go get chocolate. No, Dada. I'll give you the money. Yeah, no, Dada. Give me the money. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I got the money. I got the money. No, 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 Mama. Okay. You didn't give oh. the money to Mama. Okay, get her a corn of chocolate. Uh, no corn, uh, cup, because the corn is making a mess. Cup of chocolate. Yeah. There's a small cup of chocolate. Maybe I will pick a popsicle. I don't know, whatever you like. But it's full, you need to wear a jacket, no? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, it's no, don't need jacket, it's just outside. Ice cream, ice cream. But, no, it's five dollars and you give you six, seven dollars. And get get two spoon. Maybe I will uh, join uh, this. Okay, but if she get chocolate cup, then I can join. Okay, you go. You see what we like. Ice cream. I gave you seven dollars and I was a bad job. What are you talking? It's only cost. Six. It's not enough. Give me the money. Give me the money. It's, I always buy. I gave you six and plus three. So. Eight dollars. One, two, three, four, butcher. Five, six. It's six. Yeah, that's, that's, and it costs five. You know, it's, it costs five. Six. Come on, just in case. I told you I don't have it. Give it. We're asking if we get a credit card. I'm here, go go see, I'm here if you need more. Why don't they come here jumping? Just stay in the car, okay? Ice cream. That's a big one. How much? Five dollars? Six. Six. Give me the chain. Give me the chain. Let me test. Small test. Please. 
when I go, you can see it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Huh? You want to test, mom? Didn't got for you too, mom? She got chocolate on the on the cone. Look, this is cup. It's not the cone. Cup is there. Corn is make a big mess. Because you can eat the, the corn cup too. No, the corn cup is at 6 a.m. But there's a regular cup on the corn cup. Yeah, they have waffle cup inside the regular cup. <sighs> this cupcake, cupcake Kai live in this building. She live on the hundredth floor. High to the sky. Well, you know what is the biggest one up to the sky? A thousand. A thousand? That's really high. A thousand floor? No, ten thousand. Ten thousand floor? You get, you get to the moon with ten thousand. I think the highest floor is... How the hundred... Hundred twenty. How the hundred thousand? Hundred thousand can go way, way up to the moon. You need a big elevator. No, how do you can go way, way up to everywhere? Way, way up to the sky, to all... To all the stars. And then when you skip all of them, you see nothing. And then something super... Seriously? Get me a piece. Come on, Mary. Yeah. That's too big. It's okay. Share the love. What you buy? I buy it. That's my money. What are you talking about? She took money from me. Oh, TBS want um, also ice cream. You want the magnet. You can stay. I can pay. You're African. Times Club, baby. Right now, the Brewers are up 2 1, and the 7th at the Mets. Welcome, Sam. That's my baby. See? The fun thing on the give it to me that hour. Oh, well, this spoon. Oh, yeah. I lost this spoon. Yeah. All in all, see, she don't finish. Oh, my goodness. I can't, I told you, that was too much. Why? You, you should buy the $2 one. Oh, 
This while we go 16 handed, I'm the one that holding. Because she get big portion and she don't eat. Yeah, this is so if you just get a little bit, it's two, three dollars. Big portion is six, seven. Disney creature, Elmo, who else? Mickey Mouse, Elmo, Naked, Naked Cowboy. See, Miriam, the sign on the left? That's the stage, Shakira. It's look close, but they can open the door, you know, it says Sony Music. People all stand outside watching. Catch a lady, take a wheel. I see lipsticks. Lipsticks. I see the lipstick. Like that one right over there. Lipstick? Yeah, All the way up. Oh, look at the hole. Remember, Miriam used to go up here. You know. Mario, look, Mario is over there. See Mario? Over there. You see Mario? Over, you see him? Say hello Mario, hello Mario. This is uh, Mickey Mouse. But very close. Very Yeah, it's not the real. It's funny, Mario is big head. Where's Luigi? Luigi is sleeping. What 
what is this rabbit here? Pony rabbit. It's looking like picture of a rabbit. Baba gum shrimp. Same sticker I got, yeah? Action Kid, Miriam. It's not in USA. Action Kid. Where is Action Kid? I is in China.
of our broken down bus inside that south of tube. So inbound Lincoln, over an hour inbound Holland, under 30 minutes. That's where you want to be. Outbound Lincoln and Holland tunnels, that's also going to be about 30 to 35 minutes. And we are getting a little bit better at the inbound front of the George Washington Bridge. On the upper level, that's down to about a 45 minutes away. Lower level inbound is 35 minutes. On the outbound side, jam packed from all of the approaches. And if you are driving yeah. to the queen, now is the time to go because we're in the seventh inning of the Mets game. So right now you are loaded up on the eastbound side of the LIE and Grand Central as you head into your Nassau County line. I would say that the uh, Grand Central Northern State Parkway is a bit better. Here's what we see on the island. Big Green. There is an accident eastbound LIE at Silver Rock Road, and that is taking out the right lane. Uh, the Northern State Parkway, again, you're very busy uh, coming out of your Queens line. And uh, the Southern State Westbound delays into uh, Hempstead Lake. Eastbound, you also have delays by the Super State Parkway. I'm still our next report. 351, 1010 wins on 923 and half. A nine-year-old boy is dead. He was found in a burning car in Fairville, New Jersey. His father has been arrested on arson charges. He could face additional... Miriam is in Vietnam. Huh? Ray Ray is the action kid is in Vietnam now. He's the world tour. Yep, yep.
sunny but windy. family Maria. see this family should I give him the ice cream okay you wait here with Aya yeah I want to go with dad I'm just gonna drop off we're not dressed or not I am dressed okay I'm gonna come quick now. Here, I have this. What? You need to watch what? Well, well, mama tickled me. Oh. Okay. Well, mama tickled so me. What, I would just like what, this. So what and then it did like almost like that, but huh? it didn't spell. But spell it what? Didn't the beep, but it didn't beep, and then it just did like this, and then mama tickled me, and then I did that. So it's mama fault? Yeah. It's not your fault? No. Why are you tickling her, mama? I I just asked her not to make a mess in front of the car. No, but she tickled me first and then she let me do it. Because that. I told you not to, but you still keep doing it. So can you do a good job cleaning it, please? I hope so. Can you do this spray, maybe? Yeah, do the spray. Here, yeah, just do this too, here. Yeah. Give me that spray. No, no, Aya, please. No, not now. We're still in the car. A lot of drama. Keep the drama for your mama, yeah. Need a lot of drama for you. Yeah. This one only has a cold. I have to keep this clean. Clean all the time. Well, we need to clean all the time and every day. Every day, day and night. Yeah, day and night. 
the storage, pick up something from the storage. Nothing really stopped.
trying crazy so windy outside. Look at the people, look at the bicycle. Kind of crazy outside.
but just to make sure it's around the house. My Raycons come with me everywhere, so I can listen to any time. With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, I don't have to worry about whether they're up to the pan. Raycons also come with three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode, so they're perfect for listening to anything. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews.
We are on top of it. New York Governor Hoko asked to get out. And I hope the same applies to others if any of those soft on crime release the criminals defund the police progressive Democrats who are ruining this country. If they showed up, I hope they got the same treatment. Party of 
of the criminal in the United States of America. Joe, let me give you a chance to respond. All right, so basically we the people have no, we, we have no, nothing to back us up. So yes, we do. To, okay, look, Joe, here's the deal. We have two remedies. One is impeachment if they're in office. The next impeachment is election. Now, it is up to us to persuade them to come out and vote. It is also, and I can hear you right now, I hear people right now shouting at their radio. But that's only if it's a fair election, you idiot. That's only if it's a fair election, dumbass. Okay, it's up to us to make sure the elections are fair. Every Republican and conservative or independent that can should be volunteering to be part of the election watch. Every single precinct, every single poll, every single polling place where Democrats are going to line up for vote should be under strict observance this time. Every single one in this country, you cannot, unless you participate, demand in some way or another, you cannot expect things to change. But you will also have to vote in overwhelming numbers. Now, people are saying early voting this week. I agree with that. Ballot harvesting. I agree with you. Let's do it. If, if, if we don't have the numbers in Congress, don't have the numbers for impeachment. The presidential election is one thing, but we have to vote all the way down ballot. And can it be done? Yes. The election after Obama won. Republicans won. Have a good day. 
Good Friday, good weekend, take care. Good luck. Have a great weekend. Take care. Seven bless. תחסום אותו, תומי, תחסום אותו. תומי, תחסום אותו.
Tommy, the song of the Chelsea Pier, yeah. Chelsea Pier, yeah. Skyrim, got all the machine, everything, yeah. good to go, all the gear. We're ready for playing game
what it's all about. Uh, we can't understand Easter Sunday unless we understand Good Friday, because life has its share of both. So we're going from the bleakness, the despair, the darkness, the evil, the hatred, the death. Good Friday afternoon, we go from that to the life and promise and joy and light and life of Easter Sunday. It's a, it's a journey. It's sort of like the journey that our Jewish neighbors had from uh, slavery down to Egypt to promise of hope. Uh, in the, uh, from the Exodus, their journey, the Exodus, uh, to their journey to the promised land. We all go through it. Jesus, the Son of God, went through it. Uh, from Good Friday to Easter Sunday. And John Lee, in our city, my God, the city that I love, cherish them, cut through the
thank you. And, and the NYPD as well. Um, it's a very difficult and sad time. Um, and, and you know, the, the, the interesting thing was when we exited the funeral home, he was holding the umbrella for me and he said, get under. And I said, Mr. President, I've never had a president hold an umbrella for me. Do you want me to hold it? And he says, no, that's okay. And then we walked up uh, through Noreen to the podium where the president was going to deliver some remarks. And I said to him, I said, uh, let me hold it for you. And he said to me, would you mind? I said, of course not. So <laughs> I'll hold his umbrella any day, I'll tell you that much. So, uh, and it was wonderful. But, you know, so let me just first remark on Governor Hochul. Uh, I was not at the wake today. I went yesterday. I'm going to the funeral tomorrow. I do not know firsthand uh, what happened, other than the fact that I know that she did. The problem is probably upset. You know, a lot of emotions. You know. Well, I certainly don't blame them at all because uh, I. I Send that right now and see you guys there tonight. Okay, bye bye.
pull up over there to the right, and you can let me out up there.
used to that, she's still out there and, and she's still there. Can you ever imagine this would happen? You know, I, I you know, I, I'll tell you what, but I, 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 Jeremy, I think about so many times, I've been in a lot of hot spots. I've been to Syria, I've been to Libya, I've been to Afghanistan. Um, I've had friends who were taken captive. So um, I feel so much for, for Evan and his release. Could you ever imagine being in Russia at this time that this could happen? commercial port of Baltimore. Also, Pope Francis is marking Easter week. We talked with Cardinal Dolan earlier. Well, Pope Francis is marking Easter week by observing traditional church ceremonies. The Pope washed the feet of women inmates at a Rome prison during last night's Holy Thursday ritual. Catholics across the globe today are observing Good Friday, the Friday before Easter, which of course is the Sunday. And uh, Judge, I know you're a big uh, acting fan. You know all the movies here. Actor Louis Gossett Jr., who's the first African-American man to win a supporting actor Oscar, sadly has died at the age also of 87. Won, also won an Emmy, too, for Roots. And, 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 you guys, let's see who knows this. He won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in the role of Officer and a Gentleman in that movie. I was waiting for you to say that one. I knew. The Sergeant to Richard Gere. That's Look, exactly right. Well, I knew. He's a, a lovely guy and great, great acting, a real gentleman. Really amazing. And uh, sadly, he passed away Thursday in Santa Monica, California. But certainly his films will live on with all of us here in the studio. And John, those are our hot, 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 hot stories of the day from Goya. And olive oil. And when we come back, everybody, we're going to go to the border. We're going to talk to uh, Mark Morgan. There's been a massive caravan of illegal migrants headed to Texas. What are we going to do? Make empanadas at home in three easy steps. 
One, open the Goya Empanada dough package. Two, fill with juicy, spicy chipotle chicken for your favorite filling. And three, bake until perfectly crisp. Three easy steps compared to the 1,872 steps it takes to climb to the top of the Empire State. Or the 7.5 million steps it takes to walk from coast to coast. Making homemade empanadas with Goya empanada dough is easy. Find it in the freezer section. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Resort living can be yours. With 361 days of sunshine, when you live at the residences at 400 Central in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now under construction, call 727-205-8517. That's 727-205-8517. The residences at 400 Central in St. Petersburg, Florida. Go to 400central.com. That's the number 400central.com.
choosing us good today, good day.
Good Friday. See you next week. Thank you, everybody. See you next week. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. See you tomorrow, uh, Monday. See you Monday. Happy Easter. Shelly and Anthony, my dear love, Shelly and Anthony, take care, take care everybody, see you, peace and love, peace and love, long day, long live the king, long live the king, long day.